What's up, hungry people? This week, we are exploring the cuisine of Westeros, starting in the ruins of Harren Hall. Just a heads up, there may be some mild spoilers in this recipe if you aren't caught up on the most recent season of Game of Thrones. In season two of Game of Thrones, Arya is taken captive by the Lannisters at Harrenhal, where she subsequently finds herself as a servant girl to none other than Tywin Lannister. Tywin doesn't recognize Arya, leading him to show her kindness by offering up his meal of mutton stew, but a kindness only shown mostly because he doesn't like mutton. Is that mutton? Yes, my lord. I don't like mutton. At this point in the series, Tywin is an important figure at Harrenhal, so it's likely he would have had the kitchens prepare him something else to eat. But obviously, being in Harrenhal, the city of ruins, goods probably weren't as plentiful as they would be in King's Landing or Casterly Rock. So the kitchen workers would have probably had to work with what they had on hand, offal and other spare bits and ends left over from the Lannisters' army's last meal. Before sending Arya off to the kitchens to finish off the stew, we are given one of my favorite interactions in all of Game of Thrones. She taught me how to speak proper. Properly. You're too smart for your own good. Has anyone told you that? Yes. Go on. Oxtail, we know, was easy to come by, and even easier to cook. Which is why when Taiwan stew is remade in the kitchen, the cook swapped out mutton for oxtail. Only the best for the hand of the king. Start with a dab of butter and melt it down until it is brown and frothy. Next, add the oxtail to the pot to sear it on all sides. Be sure to season it generously with sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. Oxtail is a tough cut of meat that needs to be browned and stewed until tender. We don't want to cook the oxtail all the way through. Just get it nice and golden brown on all sides, including the tips of the bone. Remove the oxtail from the pot, but leave all of the fat and browned butter for sauteing the onions. Next, add in chunks of potato, turnips, carrots, and celery. Stir the mirepoix until the celery has brightened in color and the onions are tender. Then add whole grain mustard, minced garlic, tomato paste, Worcester sauce, and a flagon of fine red wine. Let the soup base simmer as you stir it all together. It will smell absolutely delicious, so good luck keeping the stable boys out of the kitchen when they catch a whiff of this. Next, add chopped leek and return the mixture to a low simmer before adding the seared oxtail back to the pot. Pour enough water into the pot to almost entirely cover the oxtails. You can also substitute beef broth for an even more savory stew. Give the stew another generous seasoning of salt and pepper. Finally, stir in dry herbs like Targaryen tarragon, Marjorie's marjoram, the Red Woman's red pepper flakes, and bay leaves from the Sept of Baelor. Bring the stew to a rolling boil and then cover. Let the stew simmer on a medium-low heat for three to four hours. The longer it stews, the better the meat will be. Meanwhile, grab a loaf of sourdough bread. Use a sharp knife to cut a hole into the center of the bread. And then remove the middle of the bread to form a simple bread bowl. Then toast the bread bowl and centerpiece until lightly browned and crispy. After about three hours, the oxtail will be so tender it will be falling right off the bone. If it doesn't easily separate from the bone, continue to stew it until it does. About 15 minutes prior to eating, add dried egg noodles to the stew. 
Remove the bay leaves as you find them in the stew. You'd definitely lose a hand if you served an inedible bay leaf to Tywin Lannister. Finally, add a touch of brown sugar for some sweetness and to round out the savory flavor of the stew. Pour in more water as needed to mostly cover the noodles. Put the lid back on the pot and then let the noodles cook until tender, about 8 to 10 minutes. When the noodles are done cooking, transfer ladlefuls of the stew to the toasted bread bowl. If you get lucky, you'll be serving this stew to Tywin Lannister himself, and probably picking up some secrets from the North while you're at it. Game of Thrones week continues every day until the premiere on April 14th, so head over to thestarvingchefblog.com to check out my other recipes from Westeros and beyond. If you want to help support my channel, check out the Teespring link in the description to check out some of my merch. Every little bit of your support helps. I have about 30 other Game of Thrones recipes, so if you want to check those out, both from the past and all of the new ones that are coming in the next two weeks, head over to my Facebook page where I'll be posting the recipes daily until the premiere. I hope you all enjoyed, and winter is coming.